What's this? It's a rock, duh. Oh, really? As I said before, it's uh, actually matter, energy, and empty space, along with everything else you see in this uh, video. Um, and matter, energy, and empty space, as I keep saying, are interchangeable and further reducible. So what is anything? Anything that is anything in and of itself only gets its existence in our mind. We impose our um, our view of the universe on the external universe. Everything that we do, everything that we perceive is an imposition. Benatar wants to stop us from imposing new life. Well, life is already there. I don't really see how that's an imposition to impose something that's already here. What we produce is actually ourselves. It's not, uh, it's not actually uh, any different. It's just life or even life. Can we say that this living tissue is anything other than that rock? Matter, energy, and empty space. <clears throat> All the differentiation is an imposition. Everything is imposition. That's what consciousness does. It imposes on things. Or at least, as they say, until we figure out how consciousness, um, or figure out consciousness's ultimate nature, fundamental nature, then maybe it won't be imposing anything, because it will understand what it itself is, as opposed to attempting to understand what's outside of things. The rabbit hole is very deep. And if you want to... Uh, start discussing things like imposition, um, like consciousness, like value, you'd better understand what you're getting into. Again, as uh, Willard said in Apocalypse Now, never get out of the boat, not unless you're going all the way. If you want to understand reality and if you want to make sweeping judgments that involve things like auto-extinction, Doing anything less than going all the way is fundamentally dishonest. Thank you.